Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have uh, started with the modeling part of this forklift truck over here. So let's continue it. So very first of all, what I'll be doing over here is like, I'll go into this side view over here and I'll first take a small cylinder over here. I'll just select this cylinder. I reduce its height segments and I'll slightly push this cylinder over here. So increase its height all right so let's just duplicate that stuff so first what we'll do over here is like we'll create this front section over here for creation of this front section over here let's go into this view over here let's just take a line over here sorry take a rectangle over here so let's just take a rectangle tool over here so let's take a rectangle over here a rectangle shape so let's just drag this rectangle shape in front over here let's just drag it till here over here so into that rectangle shape over here so let's just reduce this shape so let's go into rendering and you can just reduce this size like you can reduce its uh, length and you can slightly reduce its width over here in this way so once you're done so let's again go into this and let's again take a line tool over here just drag a line tool over here and just push this line tool perfectly resize this a bit so again duplicate this down over here and shift and rotate it scale it drag it up go into the vertices and just drag it over here make a duplicate of it so let's make multiple copies over here so let's just select this all over here R and slightly scale it and just drag it down here also so before we go over here I can just attach this all I'll select the vertices and I'll just slightly push it up after that is done we can go into this view over here let's again take a line tool over here just take a line tool over here like this after that let's go into this and increase its length a bit so increase its length just you can just slightly push this out convert to editable poly press 2 go into the edges over here let's use one swift loop over here 
select this edges again slightly make it in this way so I can slightly push this over here and again I can just make one copy of it over here so let's save your file over here first just give a color to it over here so once it is done so let's go into this again select this and let's just slightly drag it down over here for this chain panel we have other options like you can just take a line over here enable in viewport select the vertices and let's just give a fillet to it so after selecting this over here if you want to create that chain kind of stuff how you can create is like you can just create a small box over here convert to editable poly let's try it so put this two loops over here put this loop over here here so I can select this and I can slightly scale this scale this use a swift loop just drag it out so we can just duplicate it up in this way so you can just attach it with this and take a cylinder over here with the lesser number of sides and increase its height so just duplicate it over here so select this and just attach it so I'll just let's select this let's try this with this so select this line select this isolate this and let's scale it first and slightly rotate it let's go into tools align spacing tool pick path so let's see go into tools align spacing tool make the copies as 60 so
pick path apply so uh, now what we can do over here is like close this we can just So just save your file, very important over here. Oops. So it got crashed. All right. We already saved that file. So Okay. So we'll again just save as this. So let's just end isolate if you want to. So right click, freeze this. So like this. We only need a line over here. So we can just exclude that line from this and let's just delete it. So again you can go into this tools, align spacing tool, pick path. path so select the object align spacing tool pick path can go with the follow also edges center can increase this stuff okay if you want you can slightly rotate it on this edges part over here if you want it to rotate so it would be barely visible because this would be totally inside over here in this way so so hardly visible over here so let's just duplicate this 
Okay, you need to make a all right. So save your file again over here and just give one color to it. Okay. So guys, if you have any doubts, please write it in the comment section over here. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.